The Drawing File tabs provide a fast and visual way to switch between open drawings or to create new ones. When you first start the program, you will see a file tab across the top of the drawing area, just below the ribbon. The file names on the tabs are the names of the open files. This file, named Drawing1.dwg, is one from the template files provided for you when you install the software. By default, these files are installed on your hard drive in your local user's directory under AutoCAD Map 3D. With just a single drawing open, you see just one file tab, which corresponds to that drawing. But as you open additional drawings, you'll see additional file tabs, one for each open drawing. The file tabs are displayed in the order in which they were open, but once you've opened multiple drawings, you can drag and drop the file tabs to change their order. If there is not enough room for all the file tabs to display across the width of the screen, an overflow menu at the right of the file tabs bar provides access to the additional files. If you've made changes to a drawing since it was last saved, an asterisk appears on the tab corresponding to that drawing, adjacent to the drawing name. When you open a file in read-only mode, a lock icon appears on the tab. Make a change to this drawing and then attempt to save it. An alert message appears that this file is in read-only mode. When you right-click a file tab, the program displays a shortcut menu with tools enabling you to create a new tab, a new drawing, open a new drawing, save the current drawing, save all of the drawings, close the drawing, close all of the drawings, or close all of the drawings except for the one in which you right-clicked. You could also copy the full path to the Windows clipboard or open the file location in Windows Explorer. When you right-click anywhere else on the file tab bar, a smaller set of tools appear so that you can create a new tab, new drawing, open a drawing, save all of the drawings, or close all of the drawings. You can also click the plus icon to the right of the drawing tabs to quickly create a new drawing. Once you do, the Create page appears. This is a quick launch pad that helps you decide what to do. From here, you can click Get Started to access common tools to start a file, or click Start a new drawing. This starts a new drawing from the default drawing template specified in the default template file name for QNew settings from the Options dialog box. If you have no default set, then Start a new drawing command will start a drawing from the last used templates. Templates lists all the available templates to use. Open Files displays the Select File dialog box where you can browse to find drawings in progress. Open Sheet Set displays the Open Sheet Set dialog box where again you can browse to find your saved sheet sets. Get More Templates Online allows you to download more templates when they become available online. Explore Sample Drawings allows you quick access to the installed sample files that came with MAP3D. Recent Documents shows the most recently used files. Notifications displays all the no notifications with regards to product updates, hardware acceleration, trial period, and offline help. When there is a notification you need to be made aware of, a notification badge will display at the bottom of the page to indicate that there are two or more notifications. Connect allows you to sign into Autodesk 360 and access the online servers where you can collaborate and share your work. Then there is the Learn page. On the Learn page, you have access to learning resources such as videos, tips, and other relevant online content or services. You can turn the Create page on and off with the system variable New Tab Mode. Type New Tab Mode on the command line and you have a choice of 0, 1, or 2. Zero closes all existing new tabs and disables the display of the new tab the next time you open Map3D. One opens a new tab, which is the default setting. And lastly, two opens a new drawing based on the specified default template file in the Options dialog box. If no default template file is selected, then the Select Template dialog box will appear when you click the plus sign for a new tab. While the drawing file tabs can be quite useful, they do take up some space in your program that could otherwise be used to display drawings. You can easily turn the file tabs on and off. To do so, on the View ribbon, in the User Interface panel, click the File Tabs tool to toggle the file tabs on and off. You can also toggle the file tabs on and off within the Options dialog. 
To display the Options dialog, either right-click and choose Options from the shortcut menu, or expand the Applications menu and click the Options button. In the Options dialog, on the Display tab, the Display File Tabs checkbox toggles the display of the Drawing File Tabs. Since the file tabs do take up space, and most of the lessons in this course require you to have just one drawing file open at a time, you will typically work with the drawing file tabs toggled off. But remember, you can easily toggle them back on at any time.